This is a quick tutorial video on how to add hand gestures to your VR app or game with Mivuri. First you need to add the Mivuri plugin to your project. Either install it from the Unreal Marketplace or get it from GitHub and manually place it in the plugins folder of your project. If no such folder exists yet, just create a new folder and name it plugins. Then open your project. You may have to rebuild your project for the plugin to become available in the editor. Then you can find the Mivuri classes in the content browser. If you cannot see them, check the view options and make sure plugin content is enabled. If you installed Mivuri through the Unreal Marketplace, you must enable engine content. From the content browser, add a Mivuri actor to your level. In the details panel, you can then select the gesture database file containing your gestures. The file path can either be absolute or relative inside your project folder. You can create your own gesture database file with a gesture manager. The link is in the description together with a video on how to use the gesture manager. Note that the gesture manager is made in Unity, which uses a different coordinate system than Unreal. So if you use gesture database files created with a gesture manager, select the Unity gesture database file checkbox. Next, you have to provide the Mivuri actor with a way to know where your hands or VR controllers are. To do this, either set the left motion controller and right motion controller, or the left hand actor and right hand actor in the details dialog. You can do this at runtime in Blueprint if your motion controller actors or components are spawned at runtime. For example, in the Unreal VR template, the motion controllers can be found in the VR pawn. If your project uses a player start, you can get the VR pawn at runtime with a get player pawn function, cast it to your VR pawn blueprint, and get the motion controllers this way. You also need to provide an input name that is used as the trigger button to start and stop the gesturing. Check the project settings input section to see which input name the controller button of your choice has. If you have no inputs yet or want to use a different button, just add a new input and add the controller buttons that you want to use. Here I'm using the trigger button, but you can use any button you wish. Finally, we need to set up the callback delegate event, which will be triggered when a gesture was identified. As you can see, the delegate event provides you with all the information about the gesture, including the name, how similar the gesture performance was to previous recordings, and data about all the motion paths of the gesture. If you do not want to use an input to trigger the start and end of a gesture, you can also start and end the gesture manually by calling the start gesturing and stop gesturing functions on the Mivuri actor.
Note that the stop gesturing function has several possible results, one of which is the successful identification of a gesture. Use this case to query information about the gesture with the getIdentifiedGestureInfo function. This again will give you all the information about the gesture. Either way, you can use this data to trigger further events in your game or app such as magic spells or undo and redo. Thank you for watching and good luck with your next Unreal Engine project.